Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, today is, it's going to be a short video. We're not going to do something long. So just going to kind of dive like right into what we're going to be doing. Also, that was a cold start for the boys. Haven't got to do that yet. It's pretty awesome to actually get to, to start on the first try. So plus for that. Also, guys, thank you so much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We hit 200 subscribers and I am so excited. <laughs> I didn't think it was ever going to happen. Never thought I'd be at this point. So hopefully here's to 300. We'll just keep get, keep going with it. And uh, I'm so excited. But I'm putting my hand on something that I'm going to be showing you guys. Today, doing a quick little install on a little something, something that finally came in we've been waiting on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This is a beautiful thing right here. What are we going on today? So I can actually finally make some stew doo doo doo. So, no long story short, we're just gonna slap it on, do a couple of pulls in it, see if it sounds good or whatnot, and then should be it for the day. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, it's not gonna be anything long day, nothing crazy. Um, I should be getting to a point where I'm going to be ordering the fuel system for it. Uh, I've been talking to Chris Barnett over at B&M Performance. Uh, he's got the hookup right now on a bunch of different stuff like that. He's going to hook me up on getting an intercooler and a, some of the fuel system for the for the rail and the for return. I want to think at this point that some of the issues we're getting down to now is probably fuel pressure. I want, I'm want. i wanting to think that it's, it's fuel, pressure, fuel pressure is going to be an issue because it doesn't want to stay, it doesn't want to start right off the bat. I'm surprised it started the way it did, but hopefully I can get that in, get that replaced. So we got that, we have an aftermarket fuel rail on there right now, and I don't know what brand it is, but it's way larger. It's like two, two times bigger than what the stock is, but I think with all the tuning that we're going to do in the future, I'd just rather go ahead and get a an aftermarket fuel pressure regulator, do like a mini lab STM setup. So long story short, let's just go ahead and get right into it and let's get this tile installed, do a couple pulls and we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're just going to, I'm going to hop straight into doing this thing here. Shout out to uh, STM for this, man. They had a Black Friday special going on for a bunch of this stuff and managed to snag this off their website during that sale. Oh, I'm so glad I got to go with this. I love tile. So finally getting rid of this nasty godforsaken tape that had covering it. All done. Careful now that's done. Let's see if it'll build boost. Boost it boy.
she's still running really rough and she's like bogging down and idle whenever you give it gas so i'm thinking maybe the i'm just thinking probably there's it feels almost like a fuel cut but it also smells like it's running really rich but i don't know i'm not a tuner i don't know nothing about it um that little drive right there felt pretty good but it started surging a couple times god this thing sounds so good So happy it sounds good. Ah, turn that thing off real quick. But I'm happy it sounds good. I'm happy it actually idles now. Cause I think <laughs> not having that uh blow off valve on it at that some point was uh the beginning point here was keeping it from uh <laughs> letting it idle with that vacuum leak. But whew, that's crazy. But with that being said, everything everything that's done, I'm done today. It was just a short video. I uh, just wanted to put the blow off valve on, get that installed. I was gonna put some other miscellaneous stuff on. I was actually really thinking about putting my, the front lip that I have on. I've had this thing since I got the car. It came with the front bumper. It came with that front bumper. I was gonna put that lip on, but I'm just gonna wait. I don't have the bolts there's the lip the bolts go on to it i don't have it i was gonna put it on today but i don't have it also god there's so much adjustment needed on this car but looks good yeah i saw that i walked over here and checked to see if it was leaking there's a couple spots looks like water was just has been sitting on this car but damn that looks so good it was nice hearing it actually blow off though so Theoretically, engine bay is, I'd say 90% complete because there's a couple of things I still want to do. Like the, I want to do the actual fuel rail, the fuel pressure regulator over and then change the injectors to uh, the other ones that don't require the resistor. I don't know what they're called. Low independence, high independence, one of the two. But, there we go. Two years. Tons of time, sweat, blood, support, more support than anything, and we're driving her. <sighs> I, I can't be more proud. It's like I, it, it may still have a lot more to go. It still may have tons more to go, but we're chipping at it. We're chipping away at it, and it's how far it's come, how far this channel's come, how far everything has come because of you guys being here, supporting me, helping me, giving me advice. The people on the, the not really the forums, but like the, I say Facebook forums, because there's the, all the groups that tell me what to do. Chris at being in performance, this dude has like helped me out tremendously with like everything. I, I keep throwing the guy out there, man. And like, I, I can't talk nothing but good about the guy and everything he's done for me. So intercooler, fuel pressure regulator, injectors. And then we should be getting it tuned. I just got to get it down to Hugh Tran down in uh, uh, Houston is where we're going to end up trailering it to. So that'll be fun. We're going to probably do that after the first of the year. Once, uh, once I'm able to get the intercooler and the fuel pressure regulator and then those injectors, then we'll put it on trailer and we'll take it down to Hugh and let him have it for a day or two or whatever it takes to get it done and dialed in correctly because i'm screwing around with it right now where it is but at the end of the day i don't know nothing about it tuning i don't know nothing about adjusting stuff like it's supposed to be so we're gonna take it to an expert let him dial it in like he wants to let him set it up let him do it the right way and that'll be it that'll that'll be what we call it on okay but that being said though guys Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for coming back again, being here again. Thank you guys all so much for 200 subscribers. We're already like 200 and I don't know, 15, something like that right now when I checked it. The Texas Evo meet has been killing it for views. Everyone liking it, everyone commenting on it. But uh, I'm gonna wrap it up on this. Next thing should be, next thing should be fuel pressure regulator 
install, maybe some miscellaneous, maybe doing this lip down here. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.